Hey, this is Scott Hanselman. Now, I'm still running Windows 10 Pro Technical Preview, specifically build 9926. However, there was a roll-up recently, and what became available were the Word, PowerPoint, and Excel previews, or the kind of the tablet or the modern versions of these applications. So I thought I would do a quick video to show you what's new and what the general idea is and uh, maybe show you the two things next to each other. Now the idea I'm assuming here is that these applications are meant for touch. So if I go and run Word for example, okay, here I've got the Word application. It looks a lot like the iPad version of Word and as I understand it from watching a number of videos from the C++ conferences, a lot of the code is shared between Android, Windows, and iOS they're using C++. I can touch it. Now I want to point out, you can see my finger here. Actually you can see all of them if you like. Um, I've turned on touch feedback. You can find that in uh, Windows 8 and above just by going and typing in touch feedback, show visual feedback when you touch the screen. Uh, this is great for presenters so you can see my fingers. Now here I'm moving this Word application around. I can certainly pinch and zoom, nothing fancy there. I can full screen and resize as we can now with modern applications. Now if I make it really small, it's kind of interesting. It almost looks like it would be running on a phone. So that gives you an idea of this universal apps concept. Do note that I am running this at 1080p, so the there may be some issues with the video. Don't feel too bad about that. It is certainly a preview and it's buggy, as you can see. It didn't quite paint right there. Let's open that again. That's why they call it a preview. Now if I run it like this, resized, and then switch to tablet mode, I'm on a surface, so if I go and remove my keyboard or I hit tablet mode, you notice immediately it goes full screen. Again, I'm trying only to use touch here just to make that point. A couple of things I've noticed right off the bat. If I select some text, I'm only getting right now cut, copy, paste. So for example, if I select a whole section here, see I'm getting cut, copy, paste kind of as my right click. If I go and switch to my mouse, right click, I'm getting cut, copy, paste. I'm assuming I'm going to in the future get some kind of floating formatting bar. But uh, so far, this is what I get. Now, if I touch that little dot there, I can move the pointer. I haven't figured out how to select. It doesn't quite seem as intuitive as it does on Windows Phone. But I can go and change special indents, and I can change styles and things like that. It does have tight integration with OneDrive. I'm hoping that just like the iPad version, we'll hopefully get things like Dropbox integration as well. It would make sense to have parity. You can see the beginning of collaboration though. And one of the things that's kind of interesting when you very first start up Office Preview is it says, use Office for free and then you click it. That makes me wonder if it'll be free just like on an iPad. So basically everyone gets Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and then it lights up when you have Office 365. So you can do basic stuff and then more advanced features uh, if you pay. And I'm okay with that. When I go into edit mode, I've got the toolbar. When I click this, I go to kind of reading mode. This is like the ebook reading mode, uh, full screen, and then I can switch away from there with this button here. One other thing that was worth pointing out, if I go and open up Remember, I am still in tablet mode, and I'll just touch open with, notice it PowerPoint preview, the icon's wrong, but it's there. So there's the desktop version. It says desktop in parentheses, PowerPoint preview there. I don't know if you'd want to have both of these on a, on a tablet. It really depends on your needs. Full Word will probably always be full Word, but if I'm walking around on an eight inch tablet or a small tablet, I would like the touch version. It'll be interesting to see if they come up with a way to switch between them. So here's a, a pretty significantly sized PowerPoint. There you go, 16 megs, non-trivially sized. Uh, you don't see 
that I can see slide sorter view, which is kind of one of my favorite views. Seems like that would be the view that would lend itself the most to touch. But I can move around quite quickly, not having any problems moving around. It's definitely multi-threaded and working around, working nicely. You see it's got English and Japanese, so multilingual seems to be in there as well. Transitions are a little bit counterintuitive. The menu makes sense, but these tiny icons I'm not really feeling. You can share your files. It says choose a different location. Right now I've just got OneDrive. When I say choose a different location, it just sends me off to here. And you can see that there's some DPI issues. This appears to be a little bit confused. This is high DPI and this is low DPI or standard DPI. And then the last one is Excel. When you first open these applications up, you notice that they give you this kind of cool help animation. I kind of like that. This is just the very first time. I've never run Excel before. Use Excel for free. You see that button right there? You can pick up a template like personal budget. Opening that template as a new document. Here it's saying sign into your account. That's your OneDrive account. You see I'm clicking there. It's not doing anything. We'll make that a copy. Probably just a small bug. Interesting use in my opinion uh, as it tr gets a little bit confused going between local and remote. I thought I was going to the OneDrive and then I ended up going remote. Uh, there we go. Nice big chunky icons. Again, I'm using my fingers only issues moving around. Let's see if we can change. I'll click once and then I will pick up. No, you can let me do that. I was hoping to see if I can move that column. Perhaps that column is frozen. Let's try a new fresh one. All right. Let's touch and drag and drop. Yeah, that works. Touch once and resize. Zoom in. Click and hold. Click and tab. No. You know, it is a very passable, very reasonable spreadsheet. I can definitely see the metaphor. Now let's just, as a point of note, switch out of tablet mode. And I'm going to bring up regular Excel, put them side by side. Notice that it says Excel is not your current default. You're going to have to have one of these be the default. Snap that one to the side. Snap Assist, ask me for the other one. So there you've got full desktop next to Touch Excel or Excel Preview. Different templates. Looks like the templates are not shared right now, although the file format is shared. Easy to get to the menus here. A little bit less so, although in regular Excel, you can always click up here and optimize for touch, which will space things out a little bit. But you can still see it's quite cramped compared to this. So those are the Office previews. I will include links in the description so you can download those from the store. Again, this works today as of the recording time of this video in build 9926. Make sure you're fully updated when you run Windows Update. And be sure to check out the other playlists on my YouTube channel. And please do subscribe and tell people about it. As new builds come out, I will be doing build-to-build -build updates and letting you know about the changes that I see in Windows 10 Technical Preview. Thank you very much.